Who the heck are you and what are you doing in my house? Where's Clark? I made a lovely dinner for my man. It's time to leave Lois's body, Katie. I wouldn't be giving me orders, big boy. See, I can actually make Lois die by shutting down her system anytime I want to. I like her as a home, but I can find others. There's that cute what's-her-name who turns those cards on that game show. I could do that if I was still dead. You are dead, Katie. I know Herbie betrayed you, but this just won't work. Clark will learn to love me. No, he won't. Clark loves Lois. Well, then I hope he comes to her funeral. No! Let me go. I swear I'll kill her. I know who killed you, Katie. It was right there on page 16C. The one that Lois had before you blew it away. The one thing you couldn't bring yourself to tell her was that your husband was having an affair almost from the day you two were married. I don't want to hear anymore. I never knew who it was, did you? And being cooped up in our kitchen wall, you didn't know that your husband remarried right after I you died. On the railroad. He married her, Katie. Oh, the live long day. She was a stripper named Lila Monroe. Lila wasn't a stripper. She was a struggling secretary. My husband felt sorry for her. I felt sorry for her. I even gave her cooking lessons. Your husband begged you for a divorce, didn't he? Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. But you wouldn't give it to him because you suspected that he was in love with somebody else, so you vowed to stay married to him just to punish him. Shaboom, shaboom. Yaddy, yaddy, yaddy. You didn't know that you were giving cooking lessons to your husband's mistress. She hated you, and she wanted you out of the way. Hadn't she just left your house the night of the murder? I think she came back. No, it's not true. I wouldn't be taken in like that, not by Lila. It wasn't my idea, Katie. He made me. The truth, Lila. Just like you told me. It'll free all of us. Don't say it, Lila! Go on, Lila. She won't hurt you. Lila! I did it! I killed Catherine! Yeah! I'm sorry, Katie. I don't care! I'm not leaving! I can start over. I'm beautiful, I have a wonderful husband and a life like I never had, and I'm not giving it back! Katie, Lois said that you are a wonderful person, but nothing about your life was fair. Obviously, you belong in a better place. No, I like it here! And you don't have a choice. The way I hear it, Katie, you don't have a choice. Your killer has been found. I'm sorry, Lois. I know. I understand. But things will be better for you now. You're probably right. It seems I've made my best friend, my only friend, after I left this life. Bummer. You'll make sure all those people get their homes back. I'll be waiting for both of you on the other side. Goodbye, Katie. Well, nice to know that while we're in prison, we have something to look forward to.